Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's 8th grade math test prep video, we will be going over a star test problem. It is from the 2013 test and it is problem number 8. Let's get started. The problem states which numbers from this list are less than negative 0.94. Again, which numbers from this list are less than negative 0.94 or we can say negative 94 hundredths. Let's look at the numbers on our list. We have negative 15 over 16, 0.24, negative 2.23, 97%, negative 2 and 2 fifths, and negative 0.95 and I know that because all of these numbers aren't decimals it may seem to throw you off but don't let it there's an easy way to eliminate answers so that you can increase your chance of getting it correctly without converting um, all of the numbers definitely we are going to have to convert some of the numbers to decimals to find our answer but there's a way we can eliminate answers first before doing that to help build our confidence in answering this problem. In order to answer this problem the first thing we must do is find out what we are looking for. We are looking for numbers in the list that are less than, which means smaller than, negative 0.94 or negative 94 hundredths. Before we begin converting and trying to find our answer, let's see if there are any numbers we can immediately cross out on our list, okay? Not answer choices. We're going to look at our list to see if there are any answers we can immediately cross out to help us then cross out answer choices to increase our chance of answering this problem correctly. Looking at the list, we know that we can cross out 0.24 and also 97%. Why? Well, because we are looking for numbers from the list that are less than negative 0.94 because 0.24 and 97% are positive numbers we can cross them out because they're greater than 0.94 okay now that we've crossed we know that we can we've crossed those out because they are positive let's look at our answer choices to see which ones have these numbers in it as an answer choice and we can eliminate that answer choice because we know it's incorrect okay and looking at our answer choices we see that we can cross out H because it has 0.24 and also we can eliminate or cross out J because it also has 0.24 in the answer list as well okay so you see how easy that was we immediately got rid of two answer choices that are wrong so now all we need to do is focus on the two that are left and we haven't even did any conversions yet to decimals so with test prep what you need to do is first look to see which answer choices you can eliminate and sometimes it's very simple where you can obviously see okay well this answer choice is wrong and this answer choice is wrong mark that bad boy out before you even start working out that problem because once you see that you can eliminate some of the problems it helps you build your confidence to say okay instead of having to choose between four answer choices to get it correctly all I have is two The next thing we're, we are going to do is compare our answer choices that are left, which are F and G. Okay? Now, again, we eliminated H and J because they have positive 0.24 in there. 
and now all we have is a F and J left F and G excuse me F and G left we do need to convert that the negative 15 over 16 let's convert that fraction first okay and we see that when we convert negative 15 over 16 into a decimal it is negative 0.93 well when we are dealing with negative numbers we know the larger the number the smaller it is okay the larger the number the smaller it is so 0.93 is actually negative 0.93 excuse me again negative 0.93 is actually greater than negative 0.94 just because 0.94 is a bigger number and because that negative sign is on there that makes point negative 0.93 greater so we know that any answer choice that has negative 15 over 16 in it well we can cross that one out as well because again negative 0.93 is greater than negative 0.94 and what we are looking for are numbers from the list that are less than smaller than negative 0.94 once we cross out F, we see that our the correct answer is G. Okay, G has the list of numbers that are all less than negative 0.94. This has been Shay Jackson going over a star test problem for 8th graders. If you would like to see any more 8th grade math test prep videos, go ahead and stop by my website which is www.hypemath.com that's www.hypemath.com talk to you soon